Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be going over the tennis slate. Um, it locked up, I guess, a couple of hours ago, but we're going to take a look at who we have and take a look at how we did with respect to minimizing our dupes and things like that. So again, we're going to be using the Sports Projections website uh, to do that kind of analysis. So the first thing I want to do is I want to upload the contest file for the line painter. Um, and I already, I already downloaded that to my computer and I saved it as this, but you can save it whatever you want. Okay, so let's take a look at a uh, user unique percentage and let's see how we, how we did out of our 40 lineups. Oh, beautiful. I mean, so we only have to do here. We'll just kind of do them here. You're not going to see, but I'm going to go down here. We have we we owe four push-ups for the for the dupes. So okay, thank God, because there's no way I'm doing forty push-ups. Uh, so that's this is excellent, excellent stuff. Um, forty entries, thirty-six uniques, excellent. Um. Let's, I guess, take a look at our exposures, I suppose. Uh, let's see, user exposures. And where do I find my own? It's kind of difficult to do that. How do I, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll ask a sports projection guy how to actually access it from here. But I can certainly access it from SaberSim. So let's go. To Saber Sim. And we'll see who we actually have. Because for whatever reason, like DraftKings itself doesn't tell you. Um your exposures once the slate locks for some reason. Meanwhile, why can't I log in? Using Google. There it is. Okay. All right, so let's take a look. Contests. Let's see who we have here. Um, so we ended up in the line painter with 43% Kalinskaya, which uh, we'll look at the results of that in a minute. Um, and then 85%, excuse me, 36% Tiafo. Now, the thing that we kind of, you know, couldn't do anything about this, but uh, Putin Seva got scratched um so nine lineups are dead but we do have a couple lineups with the Yastremska who at 6200 is going to be um playing i think it's townsend so she's going to be in better shape there so net net it's still a negative but it is what it is so these are the guys we're rooting for kalinskaya tiafo um alina um so this is our basically our exposures now let's take a look at the um let's take a look at the uh the break point as well. And then we'll get a we'll get a quick look and see how we're doing here. So with the break point, let's see who we have in that one. So in the break point, we have we have Svitolina again, and she's uh she's actually pretty low owned in uh couple of the tournaments here so she's off to a good start at 2-0 um you know she obviously has to win in straight sets to say the least to uh to get us there so uh we'll take a look and see how we're doing overall there was one um expensive player who's already put up a big number um and that is uh where is she uh Kostiuk. so at 88.35, I'm not saying it has to be optimal because she, her price is very, very he healthy um, at, uh, was she, 1100 or so? But it certainly it certainly couldn't help to have her. So couldn't hurt to have her. So maybe a lineup like this could be sort of live. But it's kind of hard to say this early. Um, let's see, Mickelson, he's won his first set. And we have Sinego, who didn't score a lot, but he was an underdog. And he was only, what, 6,700? So at 13% ownership. So this, 
even though 62 is not a big score, th this could end up being pretty decent. Now, so here, Yastremska, it's going to say postponed, but she actually is in better shape because uh, she's 6,200, and, and who is she up against? Let's Let's take a look and see. First, let's see if she's actually started yet because sometimes um Stramska sometimes DraftKings waits before showing so yeah it's not till 510 and she's playing the 71st ranked player so I imagine oh it looks like it's minus 110 minus 110 so look I mean this is can't get better than this, you know, having a $6,200 $6, player at seven, at uh, who's even money. So this lineup is actually pretty live uh, in the Lion Painter kind of right off the bat. Now, I didn't sell any of these on Stake Kings, but I am going to take a look at these, um, at the uh, the qualifiers here. I can't believe how well we did with the uniques. All right, so here's one qualifier. Let's see this one. This one hasn't started at all. Like none of my, none of my players have started here and then these two we have a couple lineups in this one this one is off this tomova is off to a bad start and it's 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 raining there so uh we don't know what's going to happen i mean it's obviously not going to finish for a while and this one's off to a decent start again like i said uh Sinego is uh Sixty seven hundred, especially in a shorter field, that's uh, you know, this is a good start. So we're not going to be able to update this until later. But for those of you that have participated in this, you at least know sort of who to root for. Um, and that's it. Good luck, everybody. Yeah.